Hey guys, I am in Dollar Tree and the first thing I came across was this new fall mug microwave and dishwasher safe. They also have these new fall glasses with acorns and leaves. They also have the wine glasses. They have the stoneware and they also have this dish. Last year, this was melamine, but it's a real plate this year. I'm glad they did that because now it's microwave and dishwasher safe. They also have the large plate that matches the glasses and the smaller salad plate as well. And then I saw these placemats. These are different from the ones that they had last year. These are really pretty. You could easily make these into fall pillows. I'm sure someone has already done that DIY. If not, I'm sure someone will do that DIY. They brought back these Premier Protein shakes in caramel. It is the only flavor that they had the last time and it's the only flavor they have this time and there's a ton of them. And then I also saw this compression wrap from Curad and these are really nice. Usually athletes will wear these but a, you know a regular person can wear this if you have soreness or something and they're self-adhesive. Over in the floral section, they have these new planters. This is Norris the Norwal. They have four of them. They also have Roscoe the Raccoon and Sammy the Sloth. And the last one is Tyson the Triceratops. And I saw these furniture sliders or protectors and you get 113 in four different sizes for a dollar that's a great find and then they have these three different little clip canvases this one is my favorite with the dogs look how adorable that is so cute these are new magnets this one says welcome to the jungle i love this one let us always be friends that's really cute this one is a great reminder to all of us. And then this one is the last one, really funny. They restocked these little ceramic houses. I will link the DIY where I use these little houses. Below, I turn them into gingerbread houses. And I also saw these new little incense holders. They have the black one with an elephant on it. And then the gray one has the hand with the lotus flower in the palm. And the last one that they had was the white one with the Buddha head. Those are really nice. And just below that, I saw these new striped candle holders, black and white. On the inside is matte black and the stripes go vertically and horizontally. Farther down, I also saw that they have one that is polka dot. And look how cute this warmer is with the bees and the flower on top. I love that it is a matte color. Love that. And then they have these tea light candles in these fall scents. This one right here, I think, is for summer, the coconut lime one the harvest and hay rides. And then the last one is of course, pumpkin spice. Down here, they have more fall scents and toasted marshmallow. These are all in the little mason jars. And then the rest of these are in the same scents as the tea light candle holders. Got the rake pile leaf. And then the last one hiding in the corner is the pumpkin spice. Over in the fall decor, I saw these new tea light candle holders. These are so pretty. There's this one that's blue. It fades into orange and it has little flecks on it with the green leaf. They have the traditional orange pumpkin. 
a classic white pumpkin with a leaf and this really pretty pale blue with the green leaf. So those were a great find. They just put those out. In the Halloween decor, I saw these new little bat stickers. Really nice and glittery and you get 30 of them in one pack. And I saw these new mesh lights. These are purple and you get 10 lights on a string. They also come in orange. They have these pumpkin lights as well, as well as these little spiders. And I like these because the light is in the middle of it. And they also have little purple bats as well. And there are 10 lights on each string. Down here, I saw these little wind up mice. They have a black one with a white belly. And then they have this one, which to me looks more like a little hamster. They have these new light up headbands. This one says boo, and they also have one with skulls. I saw these lollipops. They have bubble gum in the middle, but they're black and they call them tongue painters. So it's black cherry or black grape. They'll turn your tongue black. <laughs> and then they have these really cute gift bags. The stacked jack-o'-lanterns, the orange one that just looks like a big jack-o'-lantern. And those would be really pretty if you put some sand or stone in there and put one of the LED candles inside and have them lining your driveway. Those would be really nice to use. And you get two in a pack. And more fall decor, I saw these tumblers. This one with the stacked pumpkins, with the white top. This really pretty green one with the pumpkins all over that match the dinnerware. There's this one, the orange one that matches the plates and this blue one fall weather calls for cozy sweaters this one is one of my favorites because i love that color teal and i love that the bike is the same color and it's just different and of course they have to have one with the little red truck And this was the last one that I saw. And right across from that, they have the matching cold drink tumblers. I looked under them and I did not see anything that said that they are BPA free. Unless it's underneath the sticker, it could be but there was nothing on the sticker that said it was BPA free. This one is cute. Hello, gorgeous. <laughs> Over in this section of the store, I saw these really cute door hangers for kids. It's a little book, a little hard book, and on the front it says, I'm busy. And by the end of the book, it says, I'm sleeping. So that one had a bear. They also have a unicorn, and I was able to find towards the back a cute little tiger. I saw these card games at the end of the toy aisle. This one is which car is the coolest. This one for dogs, it says who's the most lovable. This one for which place you want to explore. They have one about unicorns and horses. And then I saw these new construction toys and they're pretty good size too.
And right next to those, I saw these little tanks. Sort of camouflage paint job and the turrets do turn on them. So you have four different colors to choose from. And then next to that, I saw these unicorns and they're all different. The yellow one doesn't have wings. The other two are sort of unicorn pegasus, or actually they're just pegasus, they're not a unicorn. Only the yellow one is a unicorn. And then next to that, I saw this little tow truck toy. In the crafting section, I was happy to find that they have the silver glitter and gold glitter glue sticks in their own packages. Those come in handy during Christmas time. And I also found some new craft fabric. They have this orange and white buffalo check. They have brought back the black and white buffalo check. They had that last year. They have this one with the crayons on it. This one with the clouds and rainbows. These are really cute if you want to make little masks for your little ones if they're going back to school or just for them to have when they're out and about. Really nice little patterns for them to wear. And the last new one that I saw was this one with unicorns all over it. I found these acrylic shoe horns. They have blue and pink, and they also have them in purple. It sort of looks blue, but it's actually purple. And going farther down, I saw some satin pillowcases. This is what this one looks like. And they also have this pattern. The rest of them were just plain solid colors. They have these coffee mugs. Coffee is a hug and a mug. Coffee with a side of brunch. That sounds like me. They have more of these good morning beautiful mugs these types of mugs and they have this one that says just nod and smile lots of mugs in the candy section i found these pumpkin spice werther's original caramels they also have them in caramel apple those are both limited edition and they have these that are caramel apple filled as opposed to just the caramel on their own and while i was standing in line i saw these peanut butter pumps so it's a lid and a pump that you put on a peanut butter jar and it pumps the peanut butter out instead of having to use utensils comment below if you've used this and let me know how good it works this is the second Dollar Tree on the round display. I found these new candle holders in all these different colors. The little jack-o'-lantern on the front is the same on all of them. They just come in different colors. And they also have these tea light candle holders with the little spider legs. And this one has a skeleton. They have a black cat in a witch's hat, and they have a pumpkin in a witch's hat. They still have these little tea light candle holders. And they also have a white one back there. And I love the little expression on these with the eyes looking up. <laughs> That's really cute. Lots of these. I'll link a DIY that I use those for. And these are some new tabletop decor. I love the details of the little cobwebs and spiders all over it. They have this one with a witch's hat. Nice and thick so they stand up on their own. And my favorite is this one, which is a haunted house.
Over by the decor, they have more of the spider webs and the glow-in-the-dark spiders. They also have the tinsel truck with the jack-o'-lanterns in the back. And just across from that, I saw these new headbands with this tube mesh hanging from it. And these Halloween boas in black and gold. And they also have it in orange and gold. They have this new decor. I'm not too crazy about these. It just looks like someone put the faces on in a hurry. And the ghost, for some reason, looks like it has a mustache. <laughs> Is it just me? It looks like it has a mustache. And then the cat. There's something not right about that cat. And here they have some of the Halloween boxes. I think they did a good job with these this year. Especially with the kind of gold effect on them. And I like that they aged the pages of the book. There's this one. I like the spine of this book. I'm not too thrilled about the cover of it. They also have this one with the spider. I like the gold foil effect on that one. And then this last one, which is for witches spells. Next to those, they have the little coffin boxes. Three different kinds of those. And over by the costumes, they have these light up tiaras. This one, of course, is clear. That's how it's supposed to look. And of course, it does also come in pink, and that's how the pink one looks. Here is a mask with flowers. And look how pretty this infinity scarf is. It's a different sort of buffalo check than the one that they've had previously. This is also an infinity scarf. We all have a bit of magic in us. That's really pretty and new this year. They didn't have that last year. They also have this black one with jack-o'-lantern faces and stars all over it. And the last one is the skull and crossbones in purple. These are some of the gift bag boxes that they have for fall. Again, really pretty gold foil. I think this one is one of my favorites. And I love that they have the pattern going all over the box, even the bottom. Really pretty. And this one is also one of my favorites. I like that they put a pink and lavender colored pumpkin on the front pastel tones really pretty and of course they have the one with the red truck and the wood effect on the sides over by the Halloween decor they have these little cats and I don't remember seeing these last year they're little glittery cat cutouts you get three different sizes they kind of look like the paper chandeliers that you put together in the party section. Some treat bags, and here they have some pumpkin decorating kits. They have a sloth, a llama, a panda, a shark. Look how cute that shark is. And yeah, those are the only ones that I saw. And more creepy cloth. They have black, white, gray, and they have this one, which is a bloody creepy cloth. If you want to be extra creepy, get the bloody creepy cloth. Here are some new socks. It says Boo Time. Those are little ankle socks. They have this with the ghost, Happy Cataween. <laughs> the llama and the witch's hat. These are really cute. They have jack-o'-lantern with their silver effect on the toe and the heel. Look how cute this little Frenchie is. 
it says Wicked Cute, but you can't see the Wicked because the label, label is in the way, but that is adorable. The witch standing in the cauldron, the skull and crossbones, and here is a flying witch with bats flying around, and look how cute this skeleton pumpkin girl is with her little pumpkin skirt. And the last one down here is a little scary cat. They also have this truck. It's a black truck, the Halloween sign, and the little witch's hat is 3D. Here's a bat headband, nice and glittery, sparkly. And here are some other headbands that they have. I think this one is supposed to be a frog, I'm not sure. And the jack-o'-lantern, and the last one is the spider. They also have these little mini ornaments if you're going to do a tree or you could do a garland with these. There's a lot you could do with them because the black ones and the orange ones look like little mini pumpkins. And as for the purple, they either come in the glitter purple or what I call the disco ball purple. They have a lot of light up masks this year and this one is for a mermaid. It comes in two different colors. And right above that, they have these new sort of headband and jewel combos. This one is for a cat. And on the back, it shows you or gives you an idea of how it might look. They also have this one, which is a mermaid. I really like that headband with the pearls. And on the back of that is also an idea of what that might look like. And this was the last one that I saw with the crown of flowers. In the craft section, the only new thing that I saw were these chalkboard crop it stickers. Not very descriptive. You get two pieces in one pack. And these are the measurements of them. But I'm pretty sure you can cut them down to whatever size you would like them to be. They brought back the two piece chip brush set over in the tool section. And they also have these disposable shoe covers. You get 12 pair in one pack. Those would be great to have when you're coming from the outside inside. And this store had a million rugs. Lots and lots of rugs. And these are the Mohawk accent rugs that were cut down from a larger carpet. Lots of different sizes. I really like this one. They have a lot to match all of your decor. I'm trying to get down to this one that looks like faux turf. It's a carpet, but doesn't it look like a like faux green turf? They still have this one. Some of their pictures, I was gonna say new pictures, but I don't know if they're new or not. They have started to reorganize this store. So I don't know if they just found these in the pile. People were just throwing them out. So I'm not sure if these are new or not, but I am seeing these for the first time. And I think they're really pretty. Look at those two as a set, really nice. Then they have this one with the wine bottles and the martini glass. Or liquor bottles, I should say. And this one's really pretty. I love this one with the flowers and the purse. These are new, these little shadow boxes. 
They did a great job with those. They also have this one and this one as well. In the toy section, I found these new wind up fishing games and it comes in this red and black and it also comes in yellow and black. They still have a bunch of these Starlink toys. I have no idea what that's for, but every Dollar Tree I've been into has so many of those. And I wanted to show you guys these play phones. Those are really cute. So you can give those to your child instead of giving them your phone so they can stop calling long distance. <laughs> In the dog section, I found these new peanut butter wrapped with chicken treats. Interesting combination. And then look at this. They have water buffalo ear, natural dog chews, grass fed and free range. I don't know. You guys ever give these things to your dogs? It says it's lower fat than pig ears. No added antibiotics or hormones. And the only ingredient is water buffalo ear. They have the Lysol Clang and Fresh in Lavender. And they also have a bunch of these Tidy Bowl that lasts up to 300 flushes for a dollar. That's a pretty good deal. And then Bolero has some new coconut and rose hip conditioner. No parabens, dyes, or formaldehyde. Of course, they have the matching shampoo and they also have this one with black tea and lychee of course shampoo and conditioner in the same scent and this store also has a ton of these rosanna pancino little poop emoji bakers set <laughs> Thank you guys so much for joining me today. I hope you enjoyed this walkthrough. Please subscribe for more content like this, also seasonal DIYs. And I hope you all are doing well and staying safe. I'll see you in my next one. Take care, guys. Bye.